Kama Sutra, does it suit you? Your velvet dress is slipping on. Would you stay with me? It's coming through you. Never knew you. Never knew how much it means when you spoke to me. Hi everybody and welcome back to another studio vlog. In this one in particular, I'm going to show you guys some new products that I'm making with my button badge pin press maker thingy, which I'm so excited about. I also streamed this week for the first time in over a year and I will talk about that a little bit and I did some hiking. So that's what's in store for you in the next couple clips. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hi everybody. Sorry, I look a little rough. Um, I'm just working. It's Tuesday now. Um, and I found out that my contract for one of my contract jobs is going to come to an end in the middle of summer which i should have been anticipating i guess because that's when my contract was supposed to end but somehow i wasn't anticipating that <laughs> and uh i'm like i'm not freaking out too too much because even though this is my biggest source of income, I'm trying to just see it as like a sign that it's time for me to focus on my business. But me being me, liking to have plans, liking to be secure, you know, I'm freaking out a little bit, <laughs> but um, not too much because I think, I think it could be a good opportunity and I'm gonna, take the opportunity so <laughs> I'm scared I just unboxed an art trade with the lovely Tita Lopez on Instagram and look at all the stuff she sent me I'm absolutely in love thank you so much hun that's an original like what oh my gosh so beautiful Definitely check her out. I'll be your coffee, I'll be your poster child. Walking like Jesus, swim all the stores are closed. You think of drowning out in your parents' pool. The water's freezing, it was September. I think I Hi everybody. Oh, I'm sniffling because my allergies are acting up, so I apologize, I'm not sick. It's just allergies. I am just about to take a lunch break from work and go to the post office to drop off all of my Patreon happy mails. And uh, I'm so happy to be getting these out. This is the most Patreon happy mails I've ever had. And that's super exciting. And I actually somehow managed to under make a whole bunch of prints. So I had to make a whole bunch last night. But they're done and I'm going to take them to the post office and I'm really excited and I hope that they get to their people really quickly and um, yeah. So I'm going to do that and I'll take you guys with me. Also, I showed my patrons on Instagram. Yeah, on Instagram but nowhere else. I got it a new label printer and I'm so, so, so excited. So I'll show you guys more about this later. But basically, I was just getting so sick of not being able to make the recommended sized labels. So I ended up just splurging and I bought this baby and I will talk more about it later. Okay, so Canadian orders have already been dropped off. Um, I can just put them in my mailbox, but American and international need to go to Stallion Express. And I am double masking right now um, because I don't know how the COVID situation is where you are in the world, but for me in Ontario, things are pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, things are not good here. So they, the government has recommended people wear double masks. And that is what I'm doing because I want to be safe and not spread COVID and not get COVID. And 
yeah <laughs> so um be safe out there guys wear your masks and yeah <laughs> okay anyway i'm gonna go now my outfit every day is just joggers comfy sweaters slippers fuzzy socks i don't know if you can relate to that <laughs> So this is what it looks like, all unboxed. It's almost like, I don't know if it's just this lighting, you can't really tell on camera, but it almost looks like a rose gold kind of color. It's really pretty. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Hello everyone. So I have my iced matcha latte and my button press. It's a beautiful sunny day. Very excited about that. And I'm currently prepping some designs in Photoshop so I can print them out and test this baby out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've made just this one single test um, of one of my designs and I'm gonna try it right now. Okay. 
So I have this fancy schmancy um, cutter thing that they sent me as well. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just lining up the design with this thing and then I'm gonna cut it out. Aha, there we go. Okay, so, oops. What I'm going to want to do is flip it to A and then I have a whole bunch of different baggies here. So I believe what I do first is take, these are called the upper shells. So this is what they kind of look like up close. Um, they're like rounded on one side and then they cut off. So this is gonna be the top of the button. So, and then they also give this stuff called mylar. I think it's called. And it's just this little bit of plastic. So um, I think you do this part in first, then your design, and then the mylar. And then you punch it, I think. I'm so scared. Okay, and then in this side, I put, I have this little, um, I forget what they call it, but it's like a little spacer thing. Um, and then I put in this pin backing and I believe I put facing down. And then we spin it. And we punch it again, and it should be, <gasps> oh my gosh, and this is what it looks like. I'll show you in better lighting. This is what it looks like. It says over thinker, because aren't we all? And I just did this one as a test on standard paper. Oh my word, there's so many kids outside having lots of fun. Yeah, so I just did this test on standard paper <laughs> because I they, they actually recommended you do it on shiny paper and they did give me some, so I'm gonna do a test of that as well. But I personally don't mind like the texture that the standard paper adds, especially since I do think that my printer still prints pretty high quality on standard paper, so. I'll have to do some tests and see what I like best, but so yeah, that's what they look like. I'm so happy. That looks so good. That was so easy. Time to make a million more. Okay, so it is the following day and I just wanted to show you guys some of the progress that I've been making with these button pins. I tried originally working with standard paper, as I talked about before, um, <laughs> and after a lot of messing around with print settings, I decided that that wasn't the route I wanted to go. They just, no matter what, they just always ended up looking pretty dull, and sometimes they would have lines in them, and I just wasn't really happy with the quality. So I started using some of my nicer quality paper, and this is the difference. I hope. I don't know how well this shows up on camera, but they are so much more vibrant compared to the other one. Like you can really see it in the strawberries. So I'm really happy with making that decision. It's a little bit more expensive, obviously, but definitely worth it, I think, because I think they look so much better this way. Um, yeah, I'm still having a lot of fun with this machine and I feel like there's so much potential here and I just really want to say thank you so much to Chi Buttons. I will leave all their information down below. This is a really, really great button badge maker and I definitely recommend you guys checking it out if you're looking into getting a badge maker. I have the 32 millimeter, um, but they have a whole bunch of different sizes. And you can also like pop these out once you buy one machine and then buy different attachments as far as I understand. Ooh. 
So yeah, definitely check out Chi Buttons because this is great. They also have a whole bunch of different colors of their machines. I have the gold and it's almost like a rose gold. You can't really tell on camera, but it's almost like a rose gold. But they have like white, black, pink, um, blue, red, I think. I'm not sure. They have a whole bunch of different colors. Um, and they've also given me some extras. They've given me two different types of keychains um, to try as well as some rubber magnets so i'm definitely going to try these in a future video but there's so much you can make with this thing and it's really fun so definitely recommend thank you guys so so much for watching the studio vlog i really hope you enjoyed it let me know what your favorite part was do you have a button badge press yourself do you make your own badge pins let me know i, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments and i will see you guys next week bye Oh, also, if you want to catch my stream, I'm going to be trying to stream every Friday. So, um, yeah, I think I already talked about this actually. But yeah, check me out on Twitch and we can hang out. Bye!